Welcome back, Clay Chick Outdoors. Day two up at Wacusco Falls in Northern Manitoba. If you haven't seen the first video, it'll be in the description below, there'll be a link. But today, loaded up the trailer, we're headed to a small lake for brookies and rainbows. Let's go. Insane. Well, I'm, I'm not set up yet, obviously, as you can tell, but I'm out on uh, brook trout, rainbow trout lake. I got really lucky. Brian knew I wanted to target a little bit of brookies and rainbows on my trip when I came up here. So for a couple days he came and he made these paths through here. And what it did was basically uh, cleared off the snow and then the slush or the water came to the surface and then it was able to freeze. Without that, like when I step just off of here or say I step into there, like watch this. Like I think there's so much slush right now. Like it's like straight down. It's not bad actually there. Oh, we can hear the suction, all the water. The water comes to the surface. There's lots of slush, so it's nice that Brian will do that. So if you're gonna come up here, let him know ahead of time what you wanna target a little bit so he can prepare for you. Because without him doing that, I would have had to come here yesterday, make some circles, pack some snow down, and then come back basically the next day. So it was nice for him to do that for me. So I'm gonna get set up here. I'm gonna be camped out in one spot all day, hopefully the underwater camera, etc. Yeah, we'll see what we can we'll see what we can catch today. Rookies and rainbows is on the target today. I don't know if there's anything else in this lake. If there is, it will be a surprise. Oh, there's like two of them down there right now. And I'm not marking on the flasher, that's crazy. Okay, I gotta get a line drop. That one's bigger. I'm finally fishing, or I'm finally set up, I should say. I'm not fishing yet. I'm letting cameras on fog. It's getting warmer in here. But it's always an issue. I've had the underwater camera recording for a bit and I've had fish on there. Pretty steady. I don't even know what I want to use yet. I know I want to rock one rattle bait and then a dead stick with the minnow. Look at that. They are down there right now. Oh, this is insane. Look at that. Oh, I hope this is what I'm in for today. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Rattle bait to start with, I think. Like I said, set up. Kind of, just not fishing yet, but I got all the cameras rolling, I believe. Underwater camera going. I'm not going to the flasher camera right now. Just because I'm going to be so focused on the underwater camera anyway. I got to get this down there, and then I got to get a dead stick down there too. Or I could always fish out of this hole. Oh, I might just fish out of this hole, period. Oh, look at that. Oh, instantly. Come on. Come on. That fish charged me. Oh, no, he bit it instantly. I just didn't walk up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that took seconds. Come back, please. Oh, I don't think I went too early on that one. I think I just got unlucky. Man, okay. Well, that took seconds. Clayton, you missed him. Oh, Clayton. Watch that be my only chance today to catch a brook trout. I don't know if I've ever caught a brook trout even. To be honest, I know I've never caught one through the ice. That took seconds. Oh, oh I thought I had him already. And like he like attacked it hard too. Okay, let's 
Let's get a dead stick. I think I'm gonna probably jig out of this hole for sure and run the dead stick in this hole, I believe. Okay, dead stick. Dead stick rod. What am I gonna run for a dead stick rod? Oh, oh, oh. That looks like more like a rainbow. I should have just let it hang there. He was going to eat it just hanging there. <laughs> Instant action. Oh, here it comes. That's a rainbow. I'm just kind of kicking it on the spot a little bit. If he hits it, I'll pull it out as fast as I can and set it. That's a rainbow though, for sure. I want to get a dead stick rod down there with a, a minnow. He just ate the back side of the minnow. He didn't have the whole thing in his mouth. But he got a taste, which is good, right? Probably tasted good. Maybe he'll eat the whole thing this time. other line out of here. Well that fish is freaking out. <laughs> I don't know how big it is. Like he's <laughs> I've got light line. I got it. I got him to eat the jig in the middle. It took a while. But he came up and he smashed it. He took a couple nicks at it too. And so I want to get my transducer out. Like I I should not be even allowed to catch this fish with how awkward everything was to start with. Okay, transducer go to. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. I, I, I don't know how to judge size, right? Like, it looked, it looked big. Like, to me, I don't know how to judge size of these things. I don't know if I've ever caught a rainbow even through the ice. I think the only trout I've ever caught through the ice are tiger trout. Feels like he's coming in relatively easy right now. Oh, it's nice fish. It's nice fish. I think it's a rainbow. If it's a brook trout, it's a big brook trout. Oh. <laughs> I've got light line. I've got a 39 inch rod, light powered dipstick, only four pound test but I've got a good drag system on the Sahara, so when he wants to run, I'll let him run. Got a measuring tape in here, or a board, that I can wet quick. 
<laughs> this is awesome. It's a little bit cramped in here with all of the camera gear, but that's okay. Oh, it's just an, it's a nice rainbow. It's a nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Come on, baby. Come up that hole. Come up that hole. Nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. There was two of them for a long time that were together. This was the smaller of the two. I'm guessing I'm going to have to probably get my, when I get its head started, I'm going to have to reach down and scoop them. Come on, baby. Oh, nice fish. I'm sure this is my first rainbow trout ever through the ice. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Look at this beautiful fish. Oh, my. That thing is stunning. Okay. Um, I like stock trout. That is so cool. Oh, I'm going to get the hook out quick. Hooks out, no problem. Stay right there real quick. I want to get a measure on you. Oh, unreal. 26 and three quarters. 26 and three quarters, baby. Awesome. Beautiful rainbow. And that other one that was with it was definitely a lot bigger for sure. Like probably a good three, four inches bigger than this fish. I hope it comes back. Oh, yes. That took no time of actual fishing. Like insane, insane. I had a brook trout on me instantly. And then I had two rainbows come in. Like I said, the bigger one and then this one. There she goes, swims down. See you girl, boy, whatever you are. Yes, 26 and three quarter inch rainbow trout. Life is good, life is good. All I was using, I can't find any split shot with me, so I was going to use a J-hook, like an octopus hook, but I can't find So I'm using just a small Bite Me Jig, 1 16th ounce, like I said, 4 pound test, 39 inch light rod, it's called it's the Dipstick from Frostbite, and then a Sahara Reel. <sighs> Life is good. Life is good. That was epic. That was epic. He's gonna eat it, he's gonna eat it. Come on. He's got the minnow, I didn't get the hook though. Come on. Got him, got him, got him. That's a brookie. Brookie! Oh, okay. Okay, 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 and it's gone. small it was like this big I know they're all they're not gonna catch big brookies but it was like a I don't know 12 13 inch <laughs> I kind of horsed it up the hole and then it was flopping and they're very fragile I didn't want to just like crunch them I was trying to and he went down the other hole can you imagine what's going on through his head right now he's like guys you would not believe what just happened to me I think that counts though, right? Like that counts as a caught fish. I, I honestly, I don't even think I touched it. Let's see a replay. Rookie! Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, and it's gone. Yeah, well there you go. That'll determine whether I touched it or not. And while he's like flopping on the ice, back of my head's thinking, he's just gonna go back down the hole. Like I just, if you could have paused the world for a second, I looked up at the camera and I said, just so you guys know, this fish will end up going down the hole before I get to pick it up. That was a brook trout though. Even though the brook trout made a very quick appearance, that puts me brook trout, rainbow, burbot, walleye, pike, whitefish. That puts me at six species in two days. 
And one of them is a master angler with the rainbow trout. Well, that will wrap up my day on the ice. Nothing super crazy. I had some really good action early morning. I had some fish that picked up the bait and spit it out. I had another couple fish here later in the day that looked like they were gonna get it, they were gonna eat, and maybe I made a mistake. So there was definitely some opportunities. The the underwater camera is so much fun to watch these fish for sure. Uh, I'm losing visibility now and it is 440. So I've got about, uh, about a half an hour till sunset. So that kind of gives you an idea. I'll show a picture of it right now, what the camera looks like. I still got some visibility. You can see the white marks quite well of my bait and then the middle that's a little bit higher there. So it's not bad. You'd still see fish definitely come in, but I'm definitely losing visibility in the background more. So, And I'm in a, an area there where the tree line is a little bit higher. So you lose visibility even sooner or lose light, I should say sooner than you would on a lake said it was wide open but that will wrap up day two up at Wacusco Falls Brian said come here it's a good chance you'll catch a big rainbow and guess what got the biggest rainbow trout of my life that's a PB that's a PB first uh, rainbow through the ice but also PB like open water ice fishing anything PB rainbow you can title the video PB We'll see, it might not be titled that, but yes. So thanks for watching guys. Still got another day tomorrow, which we are going to probably, I'm thinking gonna go target pike and lake trout. See if we can cap off uh, another species on the list. I've already caught a pike in the first video, but I can still add the lake trout to the list, which will put me at seven species in three days. So just a little taste of what you can come up here and catch right now if I was gonna focus on a big wall I, of course I'd want to put three days into it or a big lake trout you put all three days into something like that right sometimes you need time when you're going to target a bigger fish in that sense not to say I couldn't luck into one yet here and there I lucked into the rainbow but if you're gonna really target a trophy fish sometimes you just got to put a little more time in than just a day or half a day like I've been doing at different locations so yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget get outside